A man took this unbelievably disturbing photo only to realize afterwards what it actually was. Hello everyone and welcome back. You will be on a pretty wild ride after watching this video, so hopefully you're prepared. It's all about wildlife and well, wildlife is quite amazing, isn't it? One amateur photographer in Delaware ended up taking an unusual photo at the time. But when he got home and looked upon it closely, he found the real circumstances to be even more disturbing than he initially thought. But before we get to that, there's another creepy and bizarre story you're definitely going to want to hear about. While some animals in the world are extraordinary looking, some of their behaviors are even more interesting than their looks. Some animals are known for elaborate portrait rituals, some for interesting methods of catching their prey. Most of the time, we aren't lucky enough to witness these moments in real time. But today, you're going to hear about some folks who are fortunate or unfortunate, depending on how you look at it to do just that. Just a warning, this story we're about to tell you is a pretty disturbing one, but it's always fascinating to hear about animal behavior. So, it's definitely a tale worth telling. There are an estimated 1 to 2 million different animals in the world, and many of them will never get to see or even learn anything about. That is, just counting the ones that are alive now. The ones that are gone are so numerous that we might never be able to figure it out. Even the most remote corners of the planet have creatures that are adapted to each specific environment and some of them are pretty strange. In the beautiful Santa Rosa National Park in Costa Rica, there's a population of white-faced capuchin monkeys that a group of scientists have been lucky enough to have the opportunity to study for close to 40 years. In all of their time studying monkeys, they had only known them to eat a typical diet, which is a variety of plants and small animals like lizards and birds. However, on one fateful day in the spring of 2019, the researchers discovered a new meal that horrified them so much that they hoped they would never get to see it in rotation again. It all started when the scientists heard some screams from the trees where a family of monkeys liked to spend their time. Once the scientists arrived, they saw a sad scene. A monkey infant labeled as CT-19 had fallen from the trees and lay dead on the ground. Its mother CT rushed down to try to carry her baby back into the trees, but it was soon made obvious that it was no use and her child had sadly passed away. While the loss of a baby animal is always a sad thing to witness what the scientists saw next was truly unbelievable. Just moments after CT gave up on her attempts to retrieve her child, a different monkey. A two-year-old male made his way up to the recently deceased and in a shocking turn of events began to nibble on its little toes. It wasn't long before another monkey, a much more adult female took over and over the next several minutes, ate CT-19's entire left foot. Because the scientists are there to make observations, they are not able to intervene getting in the way of animal behaviors would disrupt their way of life. So, all they could do over the next several minutes was watch what surely gave most of them nightmares for many weeks to come. The female continued to eat away at CT-19's lower half with the young male only getting away with a few bites here and there. CT-19's mother stayed close by, but didn't engage with the monkeys who were making a meal out of her dead child. After half an hour, CT-19's entire lower half had been gobbled up and the monkeys left his upper half in the dirt and continued on with their day. While this incident certainly left the scientists bewildered and shaken, it actually wasn't the first time that this has happened. While extremely rare, there have been eight other recorded cases of white-faced capuchin monkey cannibalism to date so it's not an entirely unheard of event. While we don't really know for sure why the capuchins do it, there is a theory. It is thought that a baby monkey may be eaten after death in order to provide essential nutrients to the monkey that feasts on its flesh. In every case, it has been a young monkey that has died and while some of them were accidental, there have been some documented cases of infanticide. Looking back, the researchers recalled the screams they heard just before they found the dead monkey. So. They think it's likely that the older female pushed him so that she could fill up on nutritious meat. While the theory is not proven, it does make sense, especially considering that the same female gave birth to a healthy baby just a few weeks after this disturbing incident. So potentially, the baby flesh acted as some sort of prenatal vitamin. While the story is indeed upsetting, it is a raw look into lives of other creatures. And hey, if the theory behind it is true, then at least the monkeys have a kind of acceptable reason to cannibalize, right? When humans eat other humans, it seems like they just do it for fun and that's way, way creepier. Wow. Well, that story was a lot, 
So time to move on to something still creepy, but not quite as horrifying as those monkeys, the story you are about to hear could honestly come straight out of some sort of alien movie. It is that strange, but it is totally real, and there are pictures to prove it. The event in question took place way back in 2011, when an amateur photographer named Sam Davis went out to a peaceful nature refuge to snap some photos of the animals in the area. While the Shirley got some beautiful photos that day, there were a few that stood out above the rest. Herons are majestic creatures and Davis was happy to see one in flight, so immediately raised his camera to snap a few shots. It didn't take long before he noticed something highly unusual. While there was no doubt that the creature he was seeing was a heron, there was something off about its neck. There was an elongated shape dangling from it that didn't fit any kind of anatomy that Davis had ever seen before. After snapping a few more photos, he discovered that some sort of snake or eel had attached itself to her neck perhaps in a bid for an overly ambitious meal. But the heron steamed unfussed and continued its journey through the sky. Davis marveled at what he had seen and continued on with his day. It wasn't until later, when he was going through the photos that he'd taken, that he made the discovery of a lifetime. You won't believe what actually happened down by the water, but once again, there are photographs to prove it. Once Davis was able to zoom in on his photos, he saw that the creature attached to the heron was an eel like he had suspected. But instead of being attached to the heron's neck like Davis had originally assumed, he realized that the eel had actually burst through the heron's neck and was getting the ride of a lifetime while still enclosed in the bird's stomach. Davis could even see the eel's face at the end of its slippery body. While it was quite an alarming sight, it didn't seem like the bird was in much distress. An expert hypothesized that the heron may have recovered as long as the wound was able to heal without infection. As for the eel, it's more likely that it met its end shortly after the incredible photos were taken. Eels can only survive in specific aquatic environments, so unless the heron just happened to politely drop its cargo in the same area it took it from then, it's a safe bet that the eel perished. But you got to admit, if you're going to die, then spending your last few moments of life high up in the air, hanging out of a bird's stomach is a pretty rock and roll way to go. But how exactly did this happen? Experts are unsure. At first it was thought that the eel in question was a snake eel, which have actually been known for very similar behaviors. Snake eels have a hard point at the end of their tails that they use for digging and when consumed by a fish, they use their pointed tips to bar the way through the flesh and burst out of the consumer's stomachs. This behavior made total sense at first because making your way out of a bird's stomach can't be all that different from a fish stomach, right? But that idea was quickly dismissed when experts realized that the eel from the photos was not a snake eel, but an American eel, who are not known to have any stomach bursting capabilities, at least until now. To add to the mystery of this story, it isn't even common for herons to feed on eels that are as large as the one from the pictures. So, why this bird decided to go for such a large snack on this day is unknown. But hey, when you're hungry, you're hungry. The animal kingdom can often be a mystery to us. And so, we can't decide that we are experts and can explain absolutely every single thing about an animal's behavior. We can, however, judge based on what other animals are doing and what is normal and try to figure out if an animal is sick or confused based on what should be normal. While the odd animal behaviors we talked about today are certainly strange, it just goes to show that every creature on Earth has some unusual habits. Some are pretty cool to witness and others might be better left unseen. Well, that was our video for you today. Hope it didn't give you too many shivers. What strange animal behaviors have you witnessed? And humans count. We need to know who actually likes pineapples on pizza because that is truly upsetting behavior. So share away. Unless of course, you know, a human who likes eating other humans because in that case, you most certainly should run to the police, like now. Please go. Until next time, thank you so much for watching.